Yeah, so hello everyone. Today we have a very very special guest on our channel. We have Aman Goel who's also my also my roommate from college. So Aman, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh yeah, Ashish. Uh so hi, my name is Aman and uh, I just graduated from Amrita School of Engineering, Amrita Puri and yeah, I am like an electrical student and I just got placed in uh TCS Digital. Currently I'm doing my internship over there as a backend developer. So yeah, that's me. Okay, so I'm very happy to have you on my channel, and yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so Aman, like, tell us about your interview experience with TCS Digital. Like, what all rounds were there? What were the problems asked? The difficulty of problems and everything about it. So I'll start with the OA, which is the online round. So online round was pretty easy. Uh, the coding part was pretty easy, and uh, there were two parts basically: the aptitude and the coding part. Aptitude was uh, kind of the normal general aptitude which the college people taught us and the coding coding had two questions and one was the uh, one was string question and second one was array question both were very easy uh, it got over very fast and after the online round uh, after a few months i got an email saying that uh, you are shortlisted uh, shortlisted for the interview and just after the uh, like just after getting shortlisted after two days i had the interview so interview like there were three panelists the first one was a technical uh, guy second one was uh, second one was uh, one was from the managing uh, area and the third one was hr so as like as the interview started they said to like basic thing just introduce yourself uh, i just uh, did the basic introduction uh, where i told about myself the projects which i did my achievements all those things and from there they started asking questions uh, the technical guy started asking questions like uh, for example, uh, like I talked about my project, so I did two projects. So from that, those two projects, he started comparing and started asking those general project questions. For example, like uh, what were the problem you faced? How can you improve this? How can you improve that? Uh, about the tech stack, this and that, and all those things. Then after that, he asked a basic coding question uh, about an array and some DBMS questions, and that was the that was it from the technical side. Then, then actually, uh, this managerial person asked some like few behavior questions, like if you are put in a situation where like two people are uh, two of your colleagues are uh, they they don't agree uh, on some issue or something, and you have to sort it. Then how how will you solve the issue? Or uh, there is some kind of problem happening in the in, in the internal of the team. Then how will you solve it? And uh, about leadership, what's your plan for the future? Are you going to like? Are you planning for any further studies? Who like? How like about TCS? He asked a few questions like, who is the CEO and what's the work culture in TCS? What are you aiming to achieve through working in this company? Why do we want to join this company? All those behavior questions. And, and I think that area was kind of uh, difficult for me as I had I was like uh, confused what I have to say and all, but all went good. <clears throat> okay, so what advice you would you give to people who are preparing for TCS Digital who want to crack TCS Digital? What advice would you give to people as how should they prepare and how did you prepare? Uh, the first main thing I would say is uh, actually you need to go to Google and just search interview experiences and just study all those interviews. Yeah, like the one you're watching right now. <laughs> exactly, um, the one from us. Uh, yeah, especially you should subscribe to this channel. Also. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, so Geeks of Geek has all those interview experiences. Just go, you will find 10, 20, 30 of them. Just learn everything from that. And the most important, I'll tell you, the best thing which you can do for the thesis interview is go and study all the latest technology like present in today's world. For example, I'll tell you, the best thing that happened was our college send in a uh, message or uh, send a mail saying that you need to uh, study like five technologies for the interview because it's asked every year and uh, the technologies were iot cloud ai ml and uh, yeah for the latest technologies and you need to like at least have some knowledge so i learned them and uh, not in depth just the basic idea like how those things work and what are the tech stack yeah. they work on and the uh, the first uh, not the first question but the uh, one of the important questions which were asked by the Technical guy was like, "Do you have any experience with the latest technology? Mm. And are you willing to work on any of them? Can you explain one?" Then I was able to 
like face that question because of because of the preparation uh, and yeah so the idea behind this is that thesis institute offers project based on the latest technology like they will give you preference now since i'm doing the internship they gave me preference where i have to choose uh, which tech, uh, which like area i have to work mm-hmm. on like ai ml cloud or big data or not so they are giving you preference so they just want you to have some knowledge in it and it's not that you need to have in depth knowledge you can just have a little bit knowledge about the basic concepts but uh, just remember this that if you are telling that okay i know ml then they will ask you questions on ml mm. you just uh, uh, don't expect that you are the only one telling the answer they will ask you few questions like uh, for uh, for example i said that i have a basic idea about ml and i explained whole ml thing then they ask me like what is what is tensor flow and uh, extra uh, like mm-hmm. other questions related to uh, like what are the algorithms used in ml and all so you have to be prepared for that also but not in depth just the mm-hmm. basic yeah okay so like uh, i just want to stress on this point again on the project part which was like whatever project you are putting in your resume please do have a use case for it just don't make a project simply just for the sake that uh, like i i get to learn this uh, just have a use case real time use case for example the project uh, which i was building had a use case uh, where it was helping someone or it was benefiting someone and from yeah. that uh, i was able to bring out a conclusion and give it to them uh, saying ki uh, if i like from this have like from this project i am able to get uh, this thing out of it and that was the first project second project was some uh, copy of some other app so the counter question which i got from the uh, for, like the technical guy was like he just gave a direct question saying can you know, what is the difference between the app which is currently present in the play store and the app which you get so you should be ready for that question also like if you are mm-hmm. making something which is already present then they will definitely ask you whether what's like what's the difference between the one currently there and the one which you are making so you should be prepared for that question and i think most of the people face problem in the coding part so i just want to tell that coding is very not very easy but pretty easy in here like they don't expect much from you so you could like just study all the basic algorithms but not you just don't have to go deep into like a uh, stuff like trees graphs and all you can like you have a basic knowledge about them so that you can just tell if they are asking but uh, while doing the coding round or uh, the coding question they would definitely ask you simple array string question which could be done using simple for loops and all so it's not a big deal and yeah i think yeah the project part and the coding part. okay yeah so thank you aman for coming on my channel and blessing my field with your grace yeah like uh, thank you ashish for having me i i had a great time and you guys please do like share subscribe thank you